Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 11th, you know, the 11th, the 11th, so right around the 11th. What do we have for around the 11th? Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is about holding on. It's saving. It's about saving. Saving money. Uh, obsessed with money. We may have somebody here that is obsessed with money. This is somebody that could be stingy. Okay. Uh, putting it in the bank. Putting something in the bank. Working on putting some money in the bank. So that's what we're looking at. Somebody that is... Well, this is an opportunity that's going in the bank. So somebody is getting a, getting something to put in the bank. Okay, this is something you can put in your bank. By the looks of things. Could be a job, could be money, could be a gift, it, you know, whatever. It could be a payout. But that's like going in the bank. So something is going in the bank. Money in the bank. Ooh. Now this is an obsession. The Four of Pentacles is an obsession. Okay, somebody that is obsessed perhaps with money. This could be a miser. All they really care about is money. All right. The moon is, there's an unclear path ahead. You need to be careful. You definitely need to be careful. There's some sort of shadow. The moon is ruled by the shadow. We could be dealing with a Cancer. We could be dealing with a Pisces. Um, there's all is not as it seems okay all is not as it seems you need to proceed with caution okay somebody could be lying they could be lying about their bank account they could be lying about their money they could be lying about their stability or their security all is not as it seems okay somebody is wearing a disguise they may be looking for somebody that has money to take care of them or something like that now the moon is, uh, you need to look deeper. Look a little bit deeper, please. What is, whatever is on the surface is not what it is. So you really, really, somebody is looking for stability. The four of pentacles are about stability. That's what they want. They want stability. They want financial stability. Look below the surface. Look deep, okay? What you see is not what you get, okay? Definitely could be dealing with a Cancer. Could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. Over here we could have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't matter. But whoever this person is, uh, this person may have some sort of money or something like that. Ooh, King of Swords. Now this person is very, very intelligent. Very, very skilled. A professional. Ah. Uh, we have a profession. This is a professional speaker. This person speaks very, very well. Very well read. Very intelligent. Investigator. This is some sort of investigator. He does his homework. Somebody has done their homework. And this is manipulation. This is somebody that is, is very, very, very smart. Uses his head. Hmm. Ten of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there's somebody here that's insecure. They they don't have financial security at all. Nine of, Nine of Pentacles reversed. They they don't. They're they're financially unstable. They are. They and and maybe maybe they got a divorce or they they had a relationship that ended that cost them a lot of money. Okay. Something has happened. This is tens or completions, okay? They're looking for a relationship. We have somebody here that may be pretending because the moon can signify pretending, okay? Just saying. They may be pretending that they're looking for a relationship, but they're really looking for security. They're looking for stability. Uh, hmm. But there could be fear, though, here as well with the moon card. That could be fear 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 of something this person has their eye on somebody 
they're looking for somebody that is stable they are looking for somebody that is stable they are it looks as though they're looking for a relationship as well they're looking for something that they can you know that can last so somebody is looking so we're changing the story now the nine of pentacles reverses somebody we could have somebody here that is lonely they don't want to be alone anymore hmm this could also be financially unstable, insecure, you know. Um, all is not as it seems. This person can is maybe cold. They may have an agenda. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Next, the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This ain't good, okay? This is not good. This is a uh, lack of investment. They invested their money poorly. Uh, wasted money. Uh, we have an individual here that is very, very skilled at deception. I'm just being honest with you. They are very skilled. <sighs> this is unrealistic. This is dissatisfied. Uh, no abundance here. This person is, is, I mean, this could be a losing money. Somebody has lost some money and it could be to a previous relationship. They may have had to pay somebody off, pay their wife or their husband or somebody. They had to pay somebody off or something like that. Doesn't have to be, that won't be for everybody. But that four of pentacles, or the very first card is looking for stability. It's all about stability. That's the, that's the main focus here very first card but they are saying because this is speaking that they want a relationship you know you definitely need to be careful this is be careful whoever you're dealing with doesn't appear to be financially stable okay or something like that um, or this you know this could be fear fear of giving up independence fear of investing so we could we can go down another road. This is a golden opportunity here because that's the Ace of Pentacles. This is fear. Okay, this the moon is about it is about fear, fear of the unknown, fear of investing, fear of giving up independence as well. So to get into a relationship because a previous relationship has ended and they may have had to pay off or something like that or pay out or whatever. They paid some sort of price. Okay. This is somebody that is very intelligent, very wise, very laid back, very cool. Okay, this guy is very cool. He's observant. Okay, he's observing a situation. So we do have an individual that is observing. They're observing somebody's investment. They're observing somebody's security. Are, are you, you know, this could even be whoever this person is. This person is a professional. Okay, this could be somebody in protective services. It could be a lawyer. It could be um, anybody. A doctor. Uh, it could be a judge. It could be a father. Some Whoever this person is, it, it's a masculine energy. This person is observing somebody's stability. Okay, that's what they're observing. It may, it may even be their own. What the hell is going on here? Seven of Cups reverse. Now, seeing a clear choice, making a choice, to have multiple options. They're in the pro somebody is in the process of making a choice. They might not want to be alone anymore, but there's definitely some fear here. Perhaps they were used in the past or somebody by somebody that didn't really invest. We're just going to keep going. But anyway, this is seeing a better option. Seeing this is what this is. This guy is very smart, very observant, seeing a better choice. There's been a lack of investment, though. Somebody hasn't been putting in much effort. And they haven't been putting in much effort because he's been observing and doing his homework. This person's been doing his homework, maybe investigating, you know. Eight of Wands reverse. Now this is uh, not ready. Thinking about it, um, 
not communicating. There could be no communication or there could be blocked communication. There could be even some some sort of jealousy here. Not ready to fall in love, not ready to um, move forward. That's why this person hasn't been putting in effort. Maybe they were blocked. This is blocked. But this is seeing clearly, becoming clear of the choice making the choice. Somebody is making a choice. The nine of pentacles reversed is insecure, a need for discipline. It's like you need to you need to listen. You need to make you need to take action to build up your security, to, to deal with your own insecurities, okay? Somebody needs to take action. Their insecurities are keeping them in a state of illusion. But anyhow, um, this is about a new relationship. Somebody has an opportunity for a relationship, but they haven't really been investing. And maybe it's because of fear. Fear of the unknown. Fear of making a bad choice. That's exactly what this is. Fear of, you know, being taken advantage of because probably whoever they were with before took advantage of them. Anyhow, this is a very intelligent individual. What's this guy going to do? He hasn't been putting in effort. He's in the process of making a choice. Um, oh, three of swords reverse. That's leaving the past hurts behind. He is. He hasn't been ready. That's why he hasn't been communicating because he was hurt so badly. Somebody's been hurt. There's been a lot of heartache and grieving. And that's why they didn't put in effort. But anyway, the Three of Swords reverse is leaving it behind. Leaving the past hurts behind. Forgiveness. Seven of Wands. This is stepping down. Admitting defeat. Somebody is admitting their defeat. They are being defeated or they've been defeated. They don't, they don't, you know, want to be on top anymore. They don't want to be involved in any sort of competition anymore. And maybe they're worried. They're fearful of competition. Whoever they dealt with in the past had some sort of competition. It's like, no more. I don't want no competition. Now, this is a fall from power, though. So somebody is maybe losing their power. There's some competition. There is definitely some competition here. Um, whew, King of Wands reverse. Now this is angry and upset. Self-centered, unreasonable. Egotistical. Greedy. We have a very greedy individual that... You know, the Seven of Wands, has been, it's been a constant battle. This person has been battling. Really, really battling. Maybe with an individual that lies. This is lies, okay? Somebody has been battling with an individual that lies, that lies a lot. This person is very insecure. And they're causing this person a lot of pain. They're causing this person a lot of anxiety and uh, stress. But this is giving up. This person is giving... Somebody is giving up. They are giving up the fight. They don't want to fight anymore. It's like, I don't want to fight anymore. They may block contact. They may stop communicating. They may stop talking. Just like that. They're ready for something better. They're just ready. They're ready. They're very unstable. This, they've caused this person to be unstable and insecure. All, all the bullshit that they have... Put on this person. Anyway, this is the end. The tens are completions. I think that we have the end of a relationship here. A relationship that was built on money. Because there ain't no love in these cards. How many cards we got here? Enough to see that there ain't no cups. There ain't no love here. This whole relate, this one, Ten of Cups, but this was false, okay? It was pretend. One card. 
And it's a completion card. It's the end. Tens are completion. Okay? Somebody was very insecure. They were looking for financial stability. So they may have gotten married or they got connected to somebody or that was financially stable. And that's all it was. There was a lot of fighting, a lot of walking on eggshells. Um, a lot of loneliness too here. Anyhow, I feel like there's going to be communication that is blocked or somebody's going to go no contact. They're just going to stop. They're just going to stop. They're going to stop and they're going to leave it behind. They're going to leave this behind. Okay. Um, stop investing. Stop. Stop. Uh, putting in any effort whatsoever. We have somebody here that is absolutely, we have 777. Seven, seven. That's what I was looking for. They're giving up. Seven of Cups reverse, Seven of Wands reverse, and Seven of Pentacles reverse. Now they're all reverse. That means there's an absence of success. There's an absence of happiness. Uh, seven is a number from heaven, and it hasn't been peaceful. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been slander. There's been a lot of uh, investment with the money that has gone wrong. I feel like... There may have been some news that was delivered to this person that makes this person angry because this is somebody that could be a lawyer, could be a lawyer that delivers some, so there could be a conversation that is had that really pisses this person off and, you know, this person decides to, you know, make a better choice, choose another option, decides to go their own way and it's reluctantly. It is definitely reluctantly. Somebody has been lying and they have been really, really, really been lying. Um, but I feel like uh, there is going to be some challenging information that is delivered that is really going to piss somebody off. Oh, God. Wheel of Fortune reversed. So that is a horrendous loss. It's a shocking, unpredictable. It's past mistakes coming back to haunt somebody. There's definitely going to be a sad, uh, a setback. It is going to be sad because of that uh, Three of Swords. Um, if it hasn't happened already, this is bad luck. Something not working out. And I can see that it's not going to work out with the Seven of Pentacles. Somebody had some tricks up their sleeve. They were. And I think that they get caught. They get caught and they, they don't get the fortune or they don't get the reward that they thought they were going to get. I feel like uh, there's a fall from grace. Interesting because this is a fall from power and this is a fall from grace. And the same with the nine of pentacles reverse. There is a fall from power, a fall from grace here. And it, it's interesting because before I started this reading, I saw the ten of pentacles reversed. But I was waiting for it to come up. I, and I was going to say it and then I thought, well, I don't want to start the reading out like that. But anyway, the ten of pentacles is the collapse. In reverse, is the collapse of an empire. Okay. It's uh, short-lived success. It's financial disaster. It's a huge loss. It's losing it all. And it's because, and there's insecurities here. There's massive debts, overspending, somebody living beyond their means, uh, putting out false impressions that they were rich and had all kinds of money and they had to live up to, you know, that pressure that they put out to the world and now they're suffering. And But it's time to leave the suffering behind. I think that we have an individual that receives some sort of information that says, you know, this is not worth it. I'm done. I'm done. So I do believe there is going to be a big loss. The, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a big loss. It is huge. Okay. This is, uh, well, it's a horrendous loss that, that, uh, because somebody was clinging to control and this is clinging to control as well. And I don't know if, or who we're dealing with, but we're dealing with anybody. If somebody is going to be experiencing, um, a massive setback because of their greediness. It starts out with greediness. It does. So the greediness uh, and deception and the lies to obtain wealth per se is going to, uh, the decision is going to be made to basically take it away. Uh, yeah. The fighting is over. This is, this fight is over. It is. It really, really is. Um, now we get the two of pentacles in reverse on the bottom. That is financial loss. 
somebody has made some serious poor financial decisions they they uh, overextended themselves they went a little bit too far they did and now they're about to fall flat on their face so I don't know who that person is but be prepared to uh, hear about this horrendous loss um, this is like it could be the loss of a business it could be the, the loss of an inheritance it could be a loss of a job um, whatever it is it's like the the deception gets revealed okay this is karma it is um, and somebody gets stopped right in their tracks with this eight of wands reversed it's like they do by a professional okay this is like a boss that is a boss it's somebody in authority that stops somebody right in their tracks okay there could be a fight that that happens or something or an argument or whatever um, anyhow somebody is going to become clear they are going to become clear that this is not stable this is not secure this is unrealistic it is the seven of pentacles reverse is unrealistic and they're going to be very dissatisfied with what they hear so get ready to hear about some sort of deception somebody pulled the wool over somebody's eyes and it's about to get revealed and that is what i got good luck